yeah, pretty cool. What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. I'm walking back to the store from the little Minute Mart down here, trying to work a deal with the manager there to order us some cases of Surge so we can carry it in the store. But she's supposed to be calling me later. Hopefully it works out. We stopped filming the What Sold on eBay series, but every now and then I might still show you guys a couple things like these here. These are both factory sealed games that I sold on eBay uh, last night, actually, to two different people. Pac-Man for the Atari 5200. It does have a little mark right there where Homer stepped on it with his claw. <laughs> but obviously that was pictured and everything. That was before I listed it. Uh, but that one's all sealed. It was just like the pack-in with the console. And then this one, Star Wars Episode One Racer, it's got this big rip on it, as you can see, and that kind of scratch. But even with that, this still sold for like 250 bucks, which is awesome. So I'm going to get these packed and get them shipped out. We have a bunch of trades to go over, so let's just jump into it here. Nothing is in any particular order. We have New Super Mario Bros. 2. Is that the one that goes in the case? Yeah, that's the one. Wait. I don't know. We emptied everything out. Okay, so there's a loose one and a complete one. For some reason, they're the same price. Fossil Fighters. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider Underworld. Uncharted Lost Legacy. Last Guardian. Last of Us Part 2. Kingdom Hearts 3. Horizon Zero Dawn, Persona 5, Dancing in Starlight, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Final Fantasy Type-0, Fist of the North Star, Lost Paradise, Tales of Arise, this is Factory Sealed, Cars, Ed, Ed, and Eddie Misadventures, Splatoon, Pokken Tournament, or Pokken Tournament, whatever, uh, Mario Kart 8, Hyrule Warriors, Super Mario Maker, and Super Mario 3D World. Then we have No More Heroes, Factory Sealed, Battle Chef Brigade Deluxe Sealed. Um, what is that? Alfendi Genesis, which is sealed. Uh, Roombo First Blood Sealed, Gauntlet Seven Sorrows. Jet Moto, Tomorrow Never Dies, Motocross Mania, Army Man Sarge's Heroes, Riven, NBA 07, Uncharted 2, World at War, uh, Black Ops Steelbook, Mortal Kombat 10 Limited Edition, Walking Dead Season 2, Karaoke Revolution Party, All-Star Baseball 2002, uh, Dora the Explorer, Journey to the, to the Purple Planet, uh, World Series of Poker, Pac-Man Fever, Backyard Football, Finding Nemo, and NASCAR Thunder 2003, Shadows of the Damned, Fallout 3, Batman Arkham Origins, Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition, Lego DC Supervillains, which is sealed, Star Wars The Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels, which is sealed. Just Dance 2014 sealed. Mass Effect 2 sealed, but it does look like it has some water damage somehow. Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix. Metal Gear Solid. Digimon World 4. Uh, Wii Sports Resort. Sly 2. Metroid Prime 3. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Wii Sports Resort. Wii Sports Resort. NFL Street. Halo 3 Collector's Edition with the slipcover. Mobile Suit Gundam Crossfire, Toy Story 2, Micro Machines V3, 102 Dalmatians, Puppies to the Rescue, Rugrat Search for Reptar, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, Grand Theft Auto 2, Mort the Chicken, and then last stack we have Triple Play 2000, Crusaders of Might and Magic, uh, what is that, Lamb Before Time, Great Valley Racing Adventure, Frogger, two Froggers, Rainbow Six, uh, Bombing Islands, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 2nd Edition, Nuclear Strike, Cool Borders 3, Driver 2, Barbie Super Sports, one of Ryan's favorites, NASCAR 98, another copy of Riven, Tony Hawk 2, Monsters Inc. Scream Team, uh, Hot Shots Golf 2, Bugs Life, Need for Speed High Stakes, Cool Borders 3 again, another Frogger 2, is that three copies? Dynasty Warriors, Pet Pet Adventures, The Wand of Wishing, SOCOM US Navy Seals, Fire Team Bravo, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, Sly Cooper, Thievius Raccoonus, uh, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, Wait. Michael Jackson, and Zombie U. There's Sly Cooper, Thievius Raccoonus. Yeah, why? Does it have no manual? The Sly. No manual. Okay, because I pulled a manual out of a different Sly game that was that manual. There's. Two, two or the first one and the second one have the same manual. Oh. I'm pretty sure. Maybe even the third one. Hey, what you doing? Replacing some sticks. 
I did and Joykins? Yeah, I did. What well, it's um, I did 361s, two 360 controllers. This one? Yeah. They look pretty good. Oh my god. Don't now I'm doing it. the Joy Cons because they were drifting. Abby didn't want them, but I was like, we have a whole bag of sticks, so <laughs> why wouldn't we take them? Sticks. Yeah, she has. Heck yeah. These are so freaking small, it's so hard to do them. That's what she said. No. That's what she said! What's going on, guys? I've got another staff pick for you here today, and it is a game from my childhood. It is. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo. Uh, this is one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. Um, it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up, and you can play uh, two-player. I don't know if it, can, if it can support up to four players, but you can play as all four Ninja Turtles. Um, it's a game similar to like Battletoads or Double Dragon, if you've played those. Um, you b basically play through the level, and then you get to fight different um, bosses or enemies that were in like the cartoons and comics. So you got... Bang. You got the first boss is I think Baxter or something. Can't remember his name. Um, but you fight all the way through the different time periods and different environments. There's a bunch of levels. There's like a sewer level um, where things pop out of the water and you're on these like hover hover things. Um, it's really fun and it's really fun co-op especially. It's great for kids if you're getting in, getting them into gaming. Um, I highly recommend it and it's just extremely fun. It's working. No more drift. How much was it? Just gotta put it back together. Now we're getting into the really good trades from today. So we're gonna start over here. We have Bubble Bobble, Double Shot, Advance Wars, Dual Strike, Turtles, Follow the Foot Clan, Turtles 2, Back from the Sewers, Turtles 3, Radical Rescue, and whoa, that's expensive. I didn't even notice that. Um, and then Metroid 2. That's a weird price, 105. And then a couple Genesis games, RBI Baseball 4, and Turtles Hyperstone Heist. That's also a weird price. I probably would have done either 70 or 75. But I didn't do this trade. Turtles, Tournament Fighters. There's a theme here, I don't know if you guys can tell. Turtles, Turtles in Time. The Simpsons, Bart's Nightmare, and Yoshi's Island. We have a big stack of NES here. We have WrestleMania. Jordan vs. Bird one-on-one, -on -one. Millipede, Robocop, Terminator 2, Renegade, Excite Bike, Knight Rider, Simpsons Bart vs. the World, Street Fighter 2010, Simpsons Bart vs. Space Mutants, Turtles 2, Bart meets Radioactive Man, Robocop 3, Darkwing Duck, Tailspin, 1943, and Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Then we have a factory sealed um, Zelda Game and Watch. And then we have a eight gig Vita memory card. We have PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, Little Big Planet, and Sly Cooper Collection. And then we have a Glacier White Vita in the box, which is pretty awesome. Oh, I guess it's Japanese import. <laughs> and then we have a random stack here of some good stuff. We have Street Fighter the Movie for the Saturn, Chrono Trigger, Bravely Default, Bravely Second and Lair, Valfaris. We have the uh, Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers. Sorry, I think it's covered up here with the tag. Oh, I don't know. Whatever, Game Watch, that one's open, the Zelda one was sealed. And then we have a complete but poor condition copy of Super Punch-Out for the Super Nintendo. Pretty awesome. It's got some like, I don't know, like little water droplet marks and a little bit of crushing and stuff. But I mean, overall, it's not that bad. It looks like the front might be slightly sun faded. It's kind of hard to tell. There's a cut on that side where they probably opened it originally. Some damage over here. And then we have Tecmo Secret of the Stars, which is also complete, but also marked as poor. There's a crease on the top here, a couple little creases along the edges and stuff. Uh, kind of like a crease on the bottom there, a cut on that side. And other than that, doesn't look too bad. And then we have Lunar Eternal Blue Complete and Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. So, 
these ones, um, from what I understand, because Kyle did this trade and he told me this one is fully complete, uh, it does have like this right here, so it's, you know, not perfect. This one is complete, but it's kind of, it has the pendant, but it's missing the bag for the pendant. And it's not just like a plastic bag, it's like a little cloth bag. So that is missing. Looks like there's a small rip right there as well. Other than that, it's complete. Uh, but these have been getting pretty hard to find, which is crazy because I remember when I first got into like buying and selling and collecting video games, I would get these pretty often. Like it wouldn't be uncommon for me to have a couple of these at the same time, but we, you know, we get the games every now and then without the boxes, but uh, the the collector's editions like this, we just don't see very often. So it's cool to have them come back in. We got the more of the stands up from yesterday. And we also sold a bunch of the controllers today. We because almost, of the stands. Possibly. <laughs> we, we sold the one that we had here for months. More, more than six months. It was here before I worked here. It was on that stand. It was the like custom painted one that was like $100. Yeah, but and it was like number three of 100, though. Yeah, we showed you guys in the video yesterday because it was on that stand. but Yeah, it's gone. And yeah. Same with the emerald blue one as well. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, I like how they look on those. I wish we had enough room to display the Japanese GameCube games front facing because like nobody knows what those are okay. except for except for the Nintendo Puzzle Collection. And well, I guess there's only one of them that's in Japanese. Why we need a whole Japanese. glass case for import stuff? I know we're working on it. Are we? Yes. Hey guys, we so, are opening up a package. Yeah. <clears throat> um, from are we supposed to say where it's from? Um, I don't know. From somewhere. Yeah. Um, first thing in here is a very poorly wrapped Vita. <laughs> yeah. And then attached to that with tape I'll just show some of the other pumps. is a Vita box. Ooh. Oh, oh, I hate how that feels. Uh, Someone took a knife to it. Yeah. Oh, I don't like how that feels. <laughs> Got a Game Boy Advance, but as yeah, you can see right there, Someone took a knife to it, so we'll probably, you know, reshell this one. Have you heard that, that audio? It's like, they treat me like, uh, like a criminal because I killed somebody. <laughs> yeah. That's I like, somebody. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was in the third grade. People treated me like a criminal because I killed somebody. Got a yellow Game Boy Color. Don't get this one too, huh? Dandelion. We got two blue uh, SPs. They... Oh yeah, mm. they are both 101s. They are both also really worn. Next is the um, that's some burning. Uh, this I believe is a Pokemon Center um Game Boy, and it is pretty uncommon. It's supposed yeah. to be kind of gold colored. Um, it's really faded. You can kind of see it on the front, but it kind of looks between platinum and gold half the time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is very cool. Some stuff that goes with the Vita. Mm, I should probably put that all over here. Um, oh, there's one more console. A black. This has also got like a knife mark on it. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> and this one is a 001. Okay, we have a Walking Dead <laughs> Vita game. Got two Pokemon Golds. Oh, there's Got Pokemon the Red. Pokemon Trading Card Game. Sir, your Pokemon game. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Oh, it's really sun faded fire red. Like the label's yellow now instead of the orange. <laughs> we have a Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Pokemon Ranger for the DS. We have this guy, Fire Red. Authentic, just super worn. Donkey Kong Country. Got Dragon Crystal for the Game Gear and also Fantasy Zone for the Game Gear. We got Pokemon Yellow and Silver and Crystal. Pokemon Sun. So we have this stuff sent from another country and you're supposed to put this on there. It's like fragile, has collectibles and um, yeah. 
that didn't happen. I think this is actually the bottom of the box that we opened. Mm. I think the other side was the top. Oh, nice. <laughs> <clears throat> so customs is not super friendly yeah. when it comes to this stuff. A bunch of the Vita stuff. Yeah. Paperwork for the box. I guess we should probably start with these two, which are kind of damaged. Uh, we have a Super Mario Bros. They, they cut these. Mm. This is also, hold on. So really quick, I just wanted to explain that we are getting these packages from someone in Venezuela. And for some reason, DHL feels the need to cut open any cardboard box or even like the sticker that was on top of the Game Boy Advance SP, they think maybe there's drugs inside. So they literally cut everything open and it really ruins a lot of items. It seems that it doesn't really matter how the person packages the items, they will still cut open and check everything, which I kind of understand, but at the same time, they're destroying these items. So unfortunately, in the future, we're going to have to limit the type of items we're purchasing from our contact in Venezuela. Took a quick break there, but we're back. I uh, got, what is this? Uh, Vaxanadu. Vaxanadu for the NES. A little rough. Super Mario Bros. Also <laughs> really rough, damaged. Mine doesn't have a manual. All right, first off, Mario Golf. Okay, 007. Starcraft 64. Banjo Tooie. Got a little messed up Paper Mario. Sub Zero. Ocarina of Time. And another Banjo Tooie. I've got Rampage. Mischief Makers. Some favorite Just a little bit. Mario Party 2. Always need that. Pokemon Stadium, right there. Donkey Kong 64. Banjo Kazooie. Castlevania with the yellowing on the edges. <laughs> Pokemon Snap. Star Fox 65. Diddy Kong Racing. And then there is, are two of these. Oh, yeah. Got Ghostbusters for Genesis and Sonic 3. Hey, if you can tell, that's Sonic 3. <laughs> Alright, and then handheld stuff. We have a Yokai Watch 2, and we have a Super Mario DS, and then we also have a thing full of Vita games. Cool. So, we have Supremacy MMA Unrestricted, Gravity Rush, Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, Uncharted Golden Abyss, and Resistance Burning Skies. Just all loose. Ooh, and there's nice. this. One of my favorite games for the Super, Zombies Ate My Neighbor. It's not an easy game, but it's very fun. Got Silent Hill Downpour. The Simpsons game. Nice, nice. Uh, Dead to Rights uh, Retribution. That was kind of funky. Yeah. Up. It got cut and torn. That might have happened in shipping. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, we missed that. And then there's a stack right here. Okay. One last 64 game. Super Mario 64. Oh. We'll <laughs> we have some GameCube and Wii. So we have a Super yeah. Mario Sunshine. Metro Prime 3. Smash Melee. Super Paper Mario. Sonic DX Adventure. Sonic Adventure DX Director Cut. Fire Emblem. Radiant Dawn. Here's complete. Star Fox Adventures. New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And another one. Mario Strikers Charged. And Star Fox Assault. Got Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai. We have Tech Super Bowl. Got Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. That one's cool. We have a disc only Mario Party 5 and Luigi's Mansion. Got Star Wars Rebel Strike, uh, Rogue Squadron 3, Sonic <laughs> Riders, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, Pokemon Coliseum, Metroid Prime, Pikmin 2, I almost said 3, NBA Street Volume 2, Another Melee, Got, ooh, I'll see. Oh yeah, we got Wind Waker. 
Got a Kirby Air Ride. Another Super Mario Sunshine. Pikmin. We have <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. Mario Kart Double Dash. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Mario Party 7. Mario Party 6. Nice. Luigi's Mansion. Oh yeah. And then we have Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Nice. That feels like it has no manual. <laughs> Got Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We have Skies of Arcadia Legends. This is complete. There's no cracking on the uh, disc. Yeah, the paint is still the all paint there. Is, yeah, the paint is still all there. Nice. Got complete Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. <clears throat> and last of all, we have a Ooh. no manual copy of Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Nice. But no manual, sadly enough. Mm. And I would say, I don't know if this is going to sell on the website or in store, but um, I always look for the little spots where the uh, the case like kind of indented. So there is like indenting. So I would say this is like fair to poor condition. Mm. Bye. Bye. What's going on guys? We got a pretty special trade in here for you. This came from one of our regulars. Um, these are all Famicom games. We got some complete in the box and there's a surprise for you at the end here, but let's go through some of them. I won't be reading all of them out, but I can point out some of them that I see. If they don't have a tag on there, that means it's like $15 or less and they'll be going out on the shelf. So we got Rockman 5, got Garfield. I think that's King Kong, Bomberman 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, Rockman 2, Super Mario Bros., or Super Mario, a McDonald's game. We got Batman, Rockman 3 there, uh, Mighty Final Fight, Layla, that's a pretty fancy game if you check out the gameplay for it. And some of our complete in box ones here. And then we're getting to the expensive stuff. We got Arkanoid. FC Ginjin. I think that's Bonk's Adventure or something. We got Dig Dug 2. And then we got some fancy ones. There's Gun Neck. Holy Diver. Bucky O'Hare. And Ghostbusters 2. And then we have one more to show you. It is Metal Storm. Complete in box. Looks pretty good to me. Might be cheaper to just get the US version of this. Apparently this one's pretty, pretty hard to get. Yeah. Thank you, Keenan, for this awesome trade in. So, we haven't done this in a while, but it's time for. Surprised it hasn't sold. First up over here, we have the Japanese Animal Crossing e reader cards, and also the, the Mario Party ones here. Very surprised these have not sold. We got this as a full factory sealed box. There's one extra pack in there that's like a different set we just put in there, but um, they are. They are region locked, which I guess is probably the reason they haven't sold, but they're still Animal Crossing cards, and it's only 10 bucks for a pack. I feel like any Animal Crossing collector would be interested. They don't really have a functionality unless you speak Japanese and have a Japanese e-reader, but still surprised that the e-reader cards have not sold. I'm surprised this awesome PS4 3DS double pack has not sold. It's I don't think I've seen any other like double pack that has two games from two different systems, not just two different systems, but two different company systems, 3DS yeah. and PS4. It's pretty cool. And it's an awesome box as well. And then we have the glove controller for the Nintendo 64, which is complete in box. It is expensive, but this thing's pretty hard to find. So I don't know. I didn't ever think that this would sell in the store, but we have so many more buyers on our website that are looking for this kind of stuff. So, I don't know, I'm just I'm surprised it's still here. I am surprised this has not sold. It's been up way up there, so it's not at eye level. 
we're gonna move it here. But uh, it's all three evolutions of one of the starters for Pokemon Arceus, uh, which I'm surprised hasn't sold because of that. And also, it's just pretty cool. And it's well, this is pre-owned, but you know, it's still in the packaging. It looks like it hasn't even been taken out of the packaging because. Yeah, I'm um, pretty sure that it was still new. We just because yeah. you can see it, it's still taped right here. It's still sealed. Oh yeah. So but the packaging was kind of damaged, so we just put it in as pre-owned. But I mean, it has a little like shooting shooting functionality. It's freaking awesome. It I'm is pretty really surprised cool. Surprised it's not sold. It's just cool. starter for Sun and Moon and for Legends Arceus. Yeah. I'm surprised that this PS5 hasn't sold yet because it's literally free. All you have to do is help us get to 30,000 subscribers and we're gonna be giving this away along with an OLED Nintendo Switch, a bunch of like eShop cards and PlayStation cards and stuff, and a bunch of other items. So once we hit 30K, we're gonna be giving it away. So help us get there. All right, we got the last of the tree. It's all Switch stuff. We got a V1 Switch. The box is pretty beat up and the Don't inside box it. was like destroyed as well. And the Joy-Cons were drifting, but I fixed them. Yeah, you probably saw that a little earlier. Those are the ones you're working on, right? Yeah. This has got these beautiful, disgusting Wii Wheels that are... Those aren't Wii just... Wheels. <laughs> they're knockoff Wii Wheels. They're Switch Wheels. They want to be Wii Wheels, but they're not. Wii Wheels. Wii Wheels. All right, and we got the best game of all time, NBA 2K20 from Nintendo Switch. Oh my god, I freaking love that game. game. This is still $28. I remember this is on sale for like $10 one year for Black Friday. <laughs> uh, this a few years ago. Yeah, I bought it. LA Noir. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Tokyo 2020, which never even happened in 2020. That's pretty cool. Paper Mario Origami King. Great game. That's a PAL import. Don't, don't tell them. No, it's not. There's no Peggy there. <laughs> and uh, Toy-Con Labo 4. Peggy. Labo stuff is good. Um, we have, I think we have one of the other ones, uh, but so, I don't remember, it's, it's over there, I don't know which one it is though, but you can actually buy, like, the stuff from Nintendo's website, you can go on there and, like, buy the separate things, so, the cardboard. yeah, the cardboard, because it obviously doesn't come with any cardboard, but if you did want to get this, you can order the cardboard separately. And we got some stuff from, oh, I guess, well, there's these. Are they drifting? No. These ones are good. And then this guy, which they don't, I don't know if they even make them anymore, um, but they're pretty cool. You can get custom ones on Etsy. Uh, we'll try to put a link in the description uh, for the shop. And they actually made several for me and did ones like my logo for time lag on the actual dock. I have a review video on this. It's one of my first videos, so it's kind of bad, but it's informative and you can get some really awesome custom plates to go on here. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Dang, we should get some custom double jump ones to we sell. We should. I'll, I'll message this guy, he'll do it. All right. I want the first batch of 100 for free. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll do a video on them. <laughs> all right. We got stuff from Cooper's collection, No More Heroes 2. We, I think we showed No More Heroes 1 earlier. I gave Abby both of them at the same time to put in, and she did them at different times for some reason. But these are just yeah. duplicates. I was adding some stuff into my spreadsheet and realized I already had these games. And then Blood, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. Classic edition. And Soul Nomad and Phantom Brave Deluxe Edition. They're both new. They're, they have, like, baggies on them, so that's why it's yeah. weird. But. but all three of those are all factory sealed. Yep. All right, I'm out of here. Ready to go home? Yeah. For today's question of the day, we want to know... What's your favorite superhero? Let us know in the comments. And that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you again tomorrow.